Hi everyone, welcome back to an episode of The Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link. Firstly, I'd like to thank you guys for the 1 month plus support. I hope you guys will like this video. Do leave your comments down below for any deck types you'd like me to showcase or any improvement to be done to this deck. I really will appreciate it. And remember to subscribe and follow me on my Facebook for more updates and uploads. So today I'm, I'm going to feature a happy deck to you. As Happy was a long lost top tier deck that was nowhere to be found as of now, so I'm trying all my best to bring back Happy's to make Happy great again. So without further ado, let's move on. I would like to give you some short introduction of Happy ladies. 10 months ago when Dueling just started in mobile, Happy was the top tier deck for many months to go, winning King of Game day in day out, month in month out with their destruction power. And there's a lot of evolution to Harpy from the old school 1.0 when we have a uh, bird face, Sonic Duck, Harpy's order to charge combo, and of course relinquish Harpy's that are not uh, captured in this deck list. And further to next Harpy old school 2.0 when Red Lotus was out and its special summoning effect of normal monster allows you to order to charge and for more combo and shenanigans and after which we all know what will happen in my next slide and lately Konami introduced Happy Dancer and Cyber Happy and everybody thought that Happy can be bad but it still don't seem that powerful compared to the lately meta partially because of this the skill rebalancing of Happy Hunting Ground I mean from the start Happy Hunting Ground was a set fear spell once the duel start so you have 4 cards in your hand with different kind of cards so after rebalance basically the happy uh, hunting ground field card was back to the hand and it just gives you lesser option and with too much of meta going on too much of uh, overflow, overflow summoning harpies was really banished from the meta type and after harpies were banished there's a rise of a new deck the galleator which is always in the tier 2 tier 3 zone because of its low attack power, although it's very powerful in uh, destruction of front row and back row, but it's still nowhere compared to Cyber Angel or uh, Black Ninja deck or Red Eye Zombie deck. So today I'm going to feature you the merger, the love story and the merger of Galliator Beast and Harpy's Lady. The two of them just met and they hope that you know, somehow they can create a new deck called Grab Hobbies version 3.0. I hope you guys enjoy this deck. So going through, we have the new uh, Happy Dancer back to the uh, dueling. So basically, we all know that this uh, special effect it allows you to resummon one uh, wind monster back to your hand and normal summon one wind monster to the field. So two Happy Dancer, one Happy Lady one for its additional 300 for wind monster attack and cyber happy lady for 1800 attack plus the first spell is 2000 so 5 happy lady representative here followed by galliator beast lakari because of its overpower when special summon is 2100 attack and we have basteri that's a 1500 attack and because of the hunting happy hunting ground it gained 200 and for Happy Lady, it gain a 300, it, so it can be a 2000 meter easily. And Galliator representative represent another 2 more Beast Mamilo because we have so much restructure on the back row by Happy Lady and Best Dairy. So I was putting Mamilo for 2 copies to destroy the front row and to follow up with Para Twister for more disruption on either back row and front row, depending on situa situational. 2 big bank shot also to destroy their front row uh, which has more effect against a uh, high beta monster like cyber angel, uh, black dragon ninja and I mean other higher attack monster. 2 enemy controller just for defense, 1 front gate for defending, powerful rebirth to special summon an enemy monster back to the field and with para twister there's a combo going on there. And we have Wall of Destruction, two of them to protect the monster and Windstorm just to turn everything to face down for the counter attack. 
So in case in midst of overpower, overpower opponent, we have ex in our extra deck two of Gladiator Beast Asteri and Narukos, and just one. We we won't see this one very often, but it was here just for fun. So without further ado, let's move on to the highlight. I'm sorry for the delay. As Konami, after the maintenance, they basically reset all the all the uh, highlights, all the do replays. So I have to basically record them after this. But it was still pretty easy in the ladder. So I have faith that Happy and Galiator can make a good partnership and make Happy's great again. I hope you guys enjoy and sit tight and relax. Be swung by the happy beauty and Galita Beast powerness. The merger has begun. So two set with enemy controller turning to defense position from opponent. And because there's no back row, so I have to set my uh, monster first before I use my uh, monster. So Galita Mamilo change to Lakari. So let the partnership begin so basically this guy is playing a Gemini die Gemini like that and happy dancers just dancing around like a beauty little cutie so coming back to the hand again and going back out again to destroy more back row and now I use para twister to remove my fear spell remove the monster and go for the easy knockout punch so para twister can be played in different kind of ways sometimes for sacrifice you just have to calculate your damage accordingly so next game my valentine versus my valentine new year is coming i hope you guys are preparing for the countdown and wish you guys for a brand new year with more happiness and health and prosperity Happy Hunting Ground versus a balanced deck. So, luckily he went first turn one, and it's a E Hero deck maybe. I'm not too sure. So Happy Dancer coming in, dancing one turn. Come back to my hand, but before that I beat Bang Shot, so I can ask Happy Dancer to retrieve back and keep on dancing around. In this duo, you'll just purely see Happy Dancer. She is the MVP for this this game. She's just dancing around with two back row. So enemy controller turn Mirage Dragon to face down. And just keep on attacking. He's still powerful with his low 1400. And Mass of Occurrence doesn't really affect him. Windstorm just turning Mirage Dragon back again. Happy Dancer just come back to the hand. And just go back out again. And this time I have to destroy my powerful rebirth. So I just use power Big Bang Shot for Happy Dancer to make it up, make it for her attack. So come back to her hand again in the next turn. And destroy more. So from turn 1 to turn 8, basically it's Happy Dancer doing the dancing. Pretty, pretty awesome. Feel free to leave your comments down below for any other improvement for this deck as I really want to feature Harpy in the next King of Game. I'm kind of sad that the new main box don't have any buff to Harpy deck but we shall see how it goes. So this guy is playing another kind of different deck. I mean it's now King of Game uh, over season, everyone just having fun. So I just using my back row to defend me as of now. And I still don't have any monster kind of break in this hand. That is quite uh, rare to say. So now I have Happy Dancer. Time for her to dance. Attacking the back row and it's a front gate. No biggie about it. So he turned out. And War of Disruption makes it all zero. So that's how important to have a good back row. Happy Dancer coming back, destroy the field spell. And Mamilo is called out. 
let the merger and partnership begin. Mamilo swapping out for Lakari in preparation for the next turn. So I fragged him immediately without any doubts. So he tried the enemy controller, use Lakari to try to attack me. I have Windstorm. No biggie. Easy peasy. Although I lost my Happy Dancer, but it's alright. I use Para Twister just for the safety. And Happy Cyber Dancer. And Lakari for the easy peasy win. This deck is still very, uh, I would say, powerful. It's destruction power for front row, back row. Was doing uh, me a very good favor in the PvP so far. I'll be coming up uh, the Dark Magician deck tomorrow, so stay tuned to it. I'm trying to level up my Arcana to level 40. But with this delay because of the replay, Hopefully I can get level 40 by uh, my, my knight which is now. So it's against a uh, red eye zombie deck. Frag get him down. Galeator beast Lakari is ready. But let's let's get Dancer to do the job to destroy the back row. So red eye spirit. No no problem for that. Because Galeator have some destruction on the front row. Happy Cyber. Lady, destroy the back row again. He fragged me, kind of sad. But my Bakstari is here. Destroy Vaver, call up Mamilo. Destroy the front row. And he has no more cards in it. Just one card in his hand, and he just surrender. He has no chance for the Happy Galleator. So this will be the last replay of today. I hope you guys enjoy. And it's against a dark magic deck, Akana. I will presume that next PvP there will be a lot of Akana going on. I have pretty much faith that Dark Magician can be a pretty high tier deck because of Akana. So Legion of the Fiend Jester getting out. Dark Magician Girl. I wouldn't stomp here, no biggie. Just to defend my Mumilo for his next attack. For disruption set, Happy Hunting Ground, Aegis of Gaia. Which is good to see. So he has no back row. Gallator just attack. Gallator changing to Lakari. And Baxteri change to Mumilo to destroy the front row. Sometimes, uh, because of this hunt, happy hunting ground, your opponent tends to put lesser back row, so it's also a psychology game, which is very useful in the ladder. So Basteri swapping out for Basteri is out with 1700. Destroy the back row. He has nothing left on his on his field. And Master Magician try to get some cards. And Mausoleum. Get out of that magician, but my frag is there for his purpose. Just attack him and swap out Mamilo to destroy the front row in face of attack position because I have wall disruption. Just for the scare. And there he is, he's starting to surrender, and it's easy peasy from here. Big bang shot for 1200 attack in case he has a bola for the tier. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, have a good day, good afternoon, good night, signing off and peace.